In order to engage the children from the start, our initial hook was to take them to the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio in London. As you can imagine, all of the children were really, really excited to see what lay ahead. The children got to use green screen technology to make it look like they were flying on broomsticks and loved seeing all of the magic tricks that are used in the Harry Potter films. So we were creating mythical creatures for a quest story in Harry Potter and we used paint 3D to make all these creatures and my creature was an ice dragon called Snaffles. He, well, he lives on Mount Everest and in winter he comes down to Hogwarts and um, I've got some script about it but I'm only going to read it up to there. Snaffles is a very special snagging snow dragon. He is a lovely protective creature who is endangered. With his holly shaped wings and his bear like feet, for years the mockadillo has killed and slaughtered snaggins with nothing but destruction. Following on from the mythical creatures the children had created using Paint 3D, they then wrote character descriptions to go alongside them. Following on from this, the children used these characters in their quest stories. The quests were based on Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, where Harry and some of the other wizards take part in the Triwizard Tournament. So the children chose two different quests that Harry and his friends would have to take part in. This is an example of the boxed up plans the children used to help plan their quest stories. We created a collaborative learning platform using Teams and this enabled the children to write their quest stories directly onto Word Online and gave them the opportunity to give some really constructive feedback as you can see where they've opened a chat on the right hand side to be able to give some really purposeful feedback. Once we had finished our quest stories, we then went on to discussion texts. In order to teach the children the structure of a discussion text, we introduced them to high quality models. In order to learn the structure and language of this text, they used a talk for writing text map, including actions. After the children had learned the text, we used a boxing up grid to show what needed to be included in every paragraph. They then applied this understanding to their own discussion text with the title of Should Magic Be Allowed to, to Continue for Witches and Wizards? Once the children had finished playing, it was then on to writing and feedback. Using our collaborative learning space in Teams, the children typed up their work straight into the online platform. We then went into files and the children saved all of their work in discussion text, a folder that we created. This allowed them to go in and see all of the other children's work and give them some constructive feedback. <laughs> 